This is my new Little Robot Open Air. Uh, I have a one cat that turned out to be a lot larger than expected, and she, he barely fit inside my classic model and won't always come out with litter stuck to his back. The new model is much taller inside, so the cat fits. There's a shield on top that protects the, uh, the cat's fur from rubbing on the uh, contaminated portions of the, of the interior of the globe. The only problem is, is that the drawer that came with the thing had a much smaller capacity than the classic. It would barely run a week before it got full. So I decided to do something about that. I've mounted it on a high capacity litter bin base. which It sits, takes the unit and sets it up 17 inches off the floor. So I had to add a set of steps made from plastic baskets I picked up at Michael's. Uh, the bin is made of scrap plywood pieces that I had around the basement. And that's about it. It takes underneath, it will take a litter bucket that I buy the litter in. So all I have to do is leave that bucket in there until it fills up, snap the lid on, and then throw it out in the garbage. And of course, there's a door to keep the smell inside. In addition to that, there's a small fan in the back that has a low airflow and exhausts it into the hose and it goes up and outside the overhang on the front of the house. Also, there's an ultrasonic sensor looking down into the bucket that measures the height of litter inside. That is handled or managed by this uh, Arduino Uno microcontroller that I programmed to read the depths periodically every 10 minutes. And then when it gets too high, it'll turn that light yellow when it's about 10 inches deep and then red when it gets up to, actually it's yellow at eight inches deep, and then red at 10 inches deep. The bucket is 12 inches deep. So as I go out to the garage uh, to go places, the LED is easy enough to see, and when it goes yellow or red, then it's time to change out the bucket and pop an, uh, a fresh one in. The bottom of the robot, it doesn't use the drawer anymore, so the top step, is at the same height as the step, the original step on the drawer. And in the later segment of the video, I will show how the, uh, the modification was made to the little robot itself. All right, this is the base with the uh, little robot removed. You can see the hole that leads into the bucket. I suspect I should at least get a couple weeks out of this. We'll see. Uh, right there, looking roughly over the center of the bucket is the ultrasonic sensor with a wire leading to the Arduino in the box. The power for the controller and the fan uh, comes into the box on that connector there with its own separate power supply. And the fan sits under that uh, plastic sink strainer, which happens to adapt to the hose quite nicely. The base unit of the little robot, I modified it by cutting a square hole in the bottom to the left of the center rib. I wanted to preserve the rib to maintain the strength of the bottom of the unit. Also an advantage to doing it this way is if I want to restore it to normal operation, all I have to do is put the drawer in here and it covers the, uh, uh, the hull. The uh, pl clear plastic lets the optical sensors for fullness see through the plastic and still work and not get blocked. Uh, if it ever clogs up as, you know, all the way up to the top there. Of course, it'll stop it from running any further, but that's not very likely given the big bucket below. On the top, as you can see, the, the, the opening, I had to leave a gap along here because there's a tab on the globe that runs along this edge here. Initially, I had a problem with the tab getting hung up on this corner, so I had to sand it down. Uh, the tab is an emergency stop. Normally, it only goes about this far, but if it goes too far, it stops up against here and causes an error. So I had to make sure that that slot is clear. I assembled the, uh, the chute with flat sides and then heated the sides and bent them out by hand to, uh, to match the curve of the, uh, the port. Also, this side is only glued at the bottom. It moves a bit so, it'll still, so it can still push the pinch center if the cat ever climbs in during a cycle and gets its leg uh, stuck in there or stuck down in the port and that does work. Uh, the other key on building one of these things is to make sure that the edge of the plastic is well below the, uh, the, line, the base uh, plastic, otherwise the, the uh, globe will drag on it. And that's about it, folks.
works fine so far for a few days. We'll see what happens uh, after a month or so.